I shot this footage in July 2010 when I took a tour through the BC Tell Museum in Aldergrove and I just found the SD card. It's been missing for 12 years. I found it. I finally got around to editing it. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. They have a mock-up Stroger switch and a switchboard there that's all working and you can go and see this in person if you want. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy the history lesson here. Here's the old Aldergrove uh, BC Tell building. It was the old exchange. And uh, we're going to go in and uh, take a look at some of the old uh, the old phones. And we got a, apparently they've got a, a working Stroger switch in here that can they can demonstrate on. And we're going to go and uh, take a look at this and uh, see a little history. This is an old heritage building. It's been here for over a hundred years. Yeah, it's unlocked, you can open that up. This was no electricity, it dropped down. Yeah. Then she plug it in. Ask them what number they wanted. Plug it into that number and ring the number. And when they were finished, they'd give a short ring and she just turned it. <laughs> So when you pick it up, it grabs a line. That's this yep. one here, right? That's yep. the line. Still have an available line. Yep. Then you dial the first number. So Step since up. you're only doing seven, yep. You only the first this one will only work for one number. Right. Then the rest of them are two numbers each. So eight up, one across. Gotcha. Seven up, four across. Nine oh, okay. up, three across. Ah, very ingenious how that worked. And then that rings this phone yeah. over here. Right. So each number reduces it by 10. So if you start off with a million, you drop down to 100,000, 10,000, 1,000, 110, and then direct line off the phone. So this was all the grove 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So there's Fraser Highland 272nd. So that was the hotel that was there before the one that's there now. And there again, it is up there. And that's the first car in Langley. 1910 coal. Across the street was Smith and Parr, which is that building up there. And that's what it looked like on the inside. Mm -hmm. Then this building here, that's the one you're in right now. So it's 100 years old this year. Then uh, this picture here, the power poles on the side of the street because the electricity came from the shingle mill. Right. Now this is the same picture 20 years later. This building is right in there. But the hotel's burned down a soul of Smith and Parr. But you'll notice the power poles on the other side of the street because the, the BC Electric Railway came through and brought the 110 volt current with them. Right. And the phone lines are on that side of the street because this became the telephone exchange. Mm hmm. This is the last one in use in BC. Mm -hmm. It was used up in uh, Comox for search and rescue. And there you can see them down in Vancouver working on the stud of switchboard. This particular one here is from an answering service. Uh, because, for instance, uh, doctors made house calls. Right. If they came to your home. If you had a telephone, they would then phone the answering service and get any further messages. Right. And that's why it only has one row, of course. Kinds of phones, mm -hmm. some that are deconverted, and that's the elevator post for that picture there. His name is Bill Humphrey. He was out here about six months ago.
And the first TV show filmed in Vancouver was about BC Tel. What the heck? It's an intercom system. It's just an intercom? Yeah. Okay. As you know, it's the brown fake light. Yep. That's one thing that those mm. phones always had. Mm hmm. Smart looking little system they have. An old candlestick. Yep. Uh, obviously, this is, was this a retrofit? Because they didn't have dialing. They didn't have dialing back in the 20s, did they? Well. Mm -hmm. yeah. In 1929, all the group went on the dial system. Oh, did they? So it was that long ago? Yeah. The only thing is, is that after 1929, On some of these in my attic. Yeah. And you can still buy them 29 bucks each. Do three batteries. Okay. Yeah. So you add that down in the basement or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you can put the batteries in the telephone like I've done on this one. No car phone. Yeah. One of the early couple of early cell phones there. Yeah, I got one of those. Oh, Recognize a few of these phones actually. Well, it's in the boot now. Over oh, telephone is. Mm -hmm. And in the room, they would just be you just have a dead phone with no dials on it. When you picked it up, it would light up and then the desk clerk would process and call the charge. There, that was our time we get for uh, operator Margaret Williams when she retired in '88. Painted her headset gold. Oh, every tool has its own special, special yeah. use. Well, that about does it. I hope you enjoyed this look back at the telephone history. And if you'd like to see the museum in person, it can be visited at 3190 271st Street in Aldergrove, BC. Telephone number 604-857-0555, and they are open daily. You can search them out on Google, search for BC Tell Museum for more information. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.